amazing time. We know you will, um, because how could you not? Especially with this man who's accompanying uh, Kelly Vaughn. His name is Keith Thompson. Let me tell you something about him. He's a master, master pianist. He's a composer, an orchestrator. He's the founder of uh, the Composers Showcase that helps and highlights composers and their work. He has played many shows on Broadway and on the Strip and was the musical director for our very own Vegas Room Christmas. That was just this last year. This man is a friend to this room. He is so talented and we are very glad to have him back on this stage again. Please welcome Keith Thompson on Keith. <laughs> And the, and the star of the night, sorry. Um, <laughs> the dazzling Kelly Vaughn has performed around the world, appearing in countless shows and with numerous incredible musical artists. Um, this is her Vegas Room debut, ladies and gentlemen. We're very excited about it. Having studied voice at the Royal Conservatory and music in Canada, I mean, that's just, I could stop right there. Kelly has back, uh, same background for um, uh, Barbara Streisand. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so she knows a little bit about what she's about to do here. Um, she has opened for Diana Ross. She has appeared in uh, productions like the Rock Pack, Fancy, which is a tribute to uh, Reba McIntyre, Rockin' Country Christmas, Country Cabaret, among others. This lady is really well known for her impersonations, right? I mean, who, who's seen her do Dolly and, and Reba? And uh, she's an incredible impersonator, but tonight, there is no impersonating. She is pure her on this stage, singing the songs of a woman who she admires. And we couldn't be happier to welcome her for the first time. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Kelly Vaughn. Many 
wonderful familiar faces out in the audience. I really, really appreciate you coming. And uh, do we have any true Barbara fi fans out there? Woo! Awesome. I became a fan when I was in uh, college. A uh, girlfriend of mine, uh, she was the daughter of the music director for the program I was taking. And uh, she introduced me to the Wet album. And I fell in love with Barbara right away. And I love this song. Each rain it's pouring. My love life is boring me to tears. After all these years.
cheating on Dr. Sam. That's okay, right, Catherine, if I say it? Um, she's like, yeah, take them. <laughs> um, well, this song was actually recorded as a solo for Barbara Streisand, as, as Barbara Streisand. And then um, it was recorded as a solo for Neil Diamond. And there was a DJ in Kentucky who was going through a divorce and he noticed that they were both recorded in the same key. So he kind of spliced it and put it together like he was having a conversation with his wife. And this is the result of what he did. Come through the door at the end of the day 
Sam, right? Or did I just let that go and everyone's going, what happened? Did I explain? Okay. Dr. Sam. <laughs> I have to explain myself. Dr. Sam is a wonderful, wonderful singer. And lately when, uh, when Karen, Karen uh, Jordan's in, in, Karen Jordan organized half this room yeah. to come tonight. So let's hear it for Karen yeah. Jordan. Karen Jordan's involved, usually I, I sing amazing, amazing duets with Dr. Sam. He's an amazing singer, like wow. amazing. And uh, and that was one of the ones I usually do with him. So that, let me, is that better? Is that better? Okay, okay. I, don't, I didn't want to lose anybody. <laughs> well, my, my boyfriend's Bob's here, so I, <laughs> I'm gonna have to explain that too. And his daughter, so. <laughs> so um, uh, anyway. You know, I, I would be amiss if I didn't do this next song, being a Canadian Catholic, paying tribute to a Jewish American from Brooklyn during Passover and Easter. Not that that has anything to do with this next song, but uh, we have to do the song. Anyone else from New York? One of my favorite towns. Take a holiday from the 
She was a uh, Barbara Streisand was very very popular in the club scene, and then she started doing some Broadway musicals and stuff. And she had the vision that this song that was written for uh, this 1981 musical named Cats was going to come to North America, and so she put it on her album Memories before it came to North America. It goes something like this. You're 
so much. This uh, next um, thing, did you know that there are only a few members of EGOT? Do you know what EGOT is? Oh, every, this is the room that would know what EGOT is. <laughs> Everyone's like, yep. <laughs> so Macy doesn't know. Macy is Jimmy's daughter. So Macy, EGOT is when someone wins an Emmy, a Grammy, an Oscar, and a Tony. And Barbara Streisand has done all of that. And she, this next film that she directed, produced, co-wrote, what else, starred in, what else did she do? A lot of things. She broke a glass ceiling, right? Yeah, she did. She broke a glass ceiling and Keith taught me that. Everywhere. There was glass everywhere. <laughs> glass everywhere, all over her house because she breaks glass ceilings all over the place. Macy, that means that she was the first to do uh, to, uh, first woman or first person? Woman. First woman to do uh, to do something. Yes, you got it, Sylvia. <laughs> There'll be trivia in the next act. <laughs> no, there will be. So get ready for your Barbara trivia. All right, so we're gonna go something like this. I learn the more I 
Please enjoy your desserts. Talk amongst yourselves. All right? All right, we'll be back shortly. Thank you. Let's get back to it. Please welcome back to the stage Keith Thompson on piano. And the songstress, please welcome back Kelly Vaughn. to do with what we have. <laughs> well, thanks for still being here. That was awesome. <laughs> Hello, gorgeous, anybody? Hello, gorgeous. Ah. So, the girl who's responsible for the show is actually here tonight. She saw me saying, when, when, when was that, Michelle? Like four weeks ago or something like that? Something like that. She saw me singing at Prosecco's. Um, this other place I sing at, and she heard me doing uh, Barbara Streisand, and she's like, you need to do a Barbara Streisand show. And I said, okay. So, um, but anyway, now actually I was pitching um, a couple shows to Jason, nothing to do with Barbara Streisand, and he was sitting, you know, and then he liked one of the ideas, and then I called him the very next day after Michelle said that, and I said, how about a Barbara Streisand show? And he said, yep. <laughs> That's what we want. And then I thought, who could I have? <laughs> who could? I, and if, if you don't know Michelle Johnson, she's an amazing singer in town. Yes, so let's yeah. give it up for Michelle Johnson in the back. <laughs> Actually, she's the reason why um, I did backup singing for Barbara Streisand. Uh, Michelle Johnson got uh, put that whole thing together. So she got, uh, and I guess Jason Allen was on that too, and I didn't know. I didn't know Jason Allen at the time. But uh, so J Michelle is like awesome. And Keith just told me a little story about Michelle in the back. Oh, no. <laughs> don't tell that story. No, don't tell that story. 
But it was mentioned earlier that... <laughs> okay, I'll tell another story. Uh, I was, I, um, we were talking earlier about Keith. Keith Thompson has done a lot for Las Vegas, and he has a um, composer showcase, which Vegas did not have any access to at the time. And the talent here is amazing, but Keith gives writers, songwriters, a wonderful home to to showcase their, their music once a month. So let's give it up for Keith on that. And what he did tell me, Michelle, is that the song you did last last month, was it last month? Just blew him away. Just blew him away. It was the best work he's ever heard you do. Thank you. So that, I want to hear it now. <laughs> but Keith's going to tell me to buy tickets. <laughs> buy tickets and watch all night, right? <laughs> so this next song, so thank you. Thank you, guys. Uh, and thank you for still being here. Um, so this next song um, was... Barbara Streisand's breakout song. It debuted at number 100. Man, I didn't even go with the trivia. You, you get the right answer. Who said that, Rick? Yeah. <laughs> it debuted, yep, yeah, at number 100 on the top hot 100 on April 4th, 1964. You got it. You got it. it People, people who need Thank you. 
too big and what's too small. But smile, smile, you promised me both ends would meet. You made the coat and vest fit the best. You made the land and the sense to wrong. But somehow, you made the pants too long. ceiling on this song. She was honored as the first woman composer. Know it, Rick? I'm thinking. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody? Yep. Yeah. Who said it? Yep. Yeah. Evergreen. There you go. Yep. Yeah. Told you there was trivia in the next one.
Thank you. Isn't that a pretty song? Uh, well, I don't think I've, it, they're all pretty and they're all beautiful. And we had, like I said, we had uh, pretty much uh, three weeks actually to work on these because it was like a plethora of material to go through. And it's like, <gasps> which ones should we do in an hour? You know, and speaking of such, actually, we're going to be doing a bar. A Keith, Keith and myself are going to be doing a Barbra Streisand special with the Rainmaker TV, and it's Vegas behind, no Vegas yeah. beyond the Strip, and with uh, Sam and Patrick yeah. right here. We're filming it uh, April nineteenth, doing a little TV special for it. So, and three days ago, I was doing a country show with yeah. I was well, I was doing Dolly. Uh, but I was also doing myself, uh, Kel Kelly Mar. I do that sometimes. You do that sometimes? <laughs> it's a family show. <laughs> so Justin's in the house. Justin, is he still here? Hey, you've you heard. Uh, I love your voice, Justin. I love your voice. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I, I, I think I have to come out next weekend and see you because uh, we, we were at a birthday party uh, recently. Um, do you know uh, Liz Clark, DJ? DJ Liz? Yeah, DJ Liz. You can tell Vegas is a small community. I know we have some people from t Dallas in the audience tonight, right? Did you know that Vegas was such a tight-knit community? You did. didn't until we started. Oh, right. So you're here 90 days out of the year. Is that right? Yes. 90 days out of the year. And uh, it's my first time meeting you guys. And thank you for coming. I was in, um, I was in Texas a couple months ago because I did a, a show in Louisiana. And it was fun. We drove all the way through Texas on the south end and through the north end. It was really fun. But Justin, I'm gonna, it's going to be a great show. I know it's going to be a great show. And you were, you're all over the place right now, aren't you? So we do. So we do during COVID, don't we? Yes, we do. And I, I put this show together in three weeks. Well, we put this show together in three weeks. So it was like, you know, it, but it's been an interesting learning experience. The whole thing has been really, really cool. And uh, I've got to meet all of you guys during COVID. I didn't know any of you before COVID, right? Yeah, my happy hour ladies. <laughs> and Karen. Karen, bringing the whole Prego court. Yeah. Bringing the whole Prego game. Love it. Karen, big props to you. Love you. Karen, I don't know if you all know this. She, she broke her foot two days ago and fell and, and split her head open. And she's got staples in her head and she still came out tonight. Oh my God. Thank you, Karen. Love you, Karen. She gave me, when she found out I was doing this show, she gave me this much, this stack of books this big. All on Barbara. So here, read. I'm like, ah, <laughs> don't have time. <laughs> but you know, isn't it? It's great to to do all this research on Barbara Streisand. It's so many movies. Like I mean, The Funny Girl. Yeah. The way we were. The way we were. Uh, Meet the Fockers. Yeah. Nuts. Nuts. Yeah. yeah nuts. <laughs> Off the sandbox, that's right. Off the sandbox? Uh-huh. Owl and the Pussycat. Owl and the Pussycat? Oh. Oh, wait, wait, which, which your favorite? What's up, Doc? What's up, Doc? Yeah. What's up, Doc? What's up, Doc? Prince of Tides. Prince of Tides. Talk amongst yourselves. Had nothing to do with Prince or Tides. Doc. <laughs> Discuss. <laughs> Omar Shari, which one? Omar Shari and uh, Robert Redford and uh, Ryan O'Neill. Ryan O'Neill. Chris Dobbins and Nick Nolte. Don Johnson. Don Johnson. The mirror has two faces. But I, I really loved the way we were. That was that was a beautiful, beautiful.
there's so many people to uh, to thank for tonight. Uh, thank you, Michelle. Again. Thank you, Michelle. And uh, yes, and thank you, Jason, Allen, for believing in the in the show. Appreciate that. And we want to thank um, the Vegas Room for having us. All right. <laughs> yes, Chef David and Tom, thank you so much for having us. And uh, hello, gorgeous. <laughs> Sean, thank you for doing a wonderful job on the sound and lights. <clears throat> the first time I came to this room, I went, oh my God, I'm loving, I love the acoustics. And it's partly the room, but also you have a big part of that. So thank you, thank you so much for that. Uh, I want to thank Keith Thompson for, for accompanying me. It was so fun rehearsing with Keith because um, little did I know, I kind of figured he would be a Barbra Streisand fan. Why is that? <laughs> I just didn't realize how big of a fan he was. And so every time, <laughs> every time we would go and rehearse, he was just all giddy, right? I don't know how to call it giddy. <laughs> <laughs> I was excited. I love this music. Love we it. had so much fun collaborating on this. It was just been so, so much fun from the beginning to the end. And thank you all for coming out tonight. Yay. Thank you. Uh, who's vaccinated here? Okay. Yeah, the vaccinations are coming out. I think I'm, a, a, I'm eligible, eligible now. I think, right? Now they're doing everybody, right? Yeah. Monday. Oh, it's Monday. Monday. It's Monday. Okay, so guess where I'll be Monday? Yeah. Yeah. Walmart. Or well, no, Walgreens or wherever. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Starts with a W, something like that. I don't know. But uh, yes, thank you for coming out and supporting live music. It means a lot to us. It really does. It really means a lot to all the performers here. I know Michelle and Justin uh, feel the same way. And we, we really appreciate Is this the first time for anyone being out? No? <laughs> well, actually, last week, someone brought somebody to uh, one of my shows, and it was the first time this lady had been out. I know, right? And she was still sane. <laughs> that I saw, anyway. <laughs> I don't know what happened later on. But uh, anyway, we just wanna thank you all and um, hope you had a good time. Was the food, was it awesome? Yes. Yeah. Was it awesome? Good. How was your pasta, Macy? Was it good? She's not talking. <laughs> Macy is, is an awesome 11 year old. Um, that to my my boyfriend gave, he didn't give birth to you, but he had, he had a part of you. <laughs> he was there. <laughs> All right, so when I first was talking about this project, I had so many things thrown at me by so many people, and everyone was like, hmm, I don't know, you're taking on a big, big responsibility here. I mean, is there a better singer than Barbara Strand, Streisand in our time? No. no. No, there really Judy isn't. Garland. Judy Garland? No. Come on. Who said that? Diana <laughs> Krall. No. Well, she's, she's good. But, and I love Diana Krall. But I wouldn't say she was the best. No, no, no. Uh, anybody else? Eva Cassidy. Oh, yes. Rick is. We're going to do this next song in Eva Cassidy style. No, 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 we're not. Because then I can't, I, you know, I love her, but her phrasing is just so, uh, yeah, no, I love her though. Celine. Celine Dion, she comes close. Mm -hmm. And when they did the um, duet, Tell Him, yes. yeah. fabulous, yeah. fabulous. I'm going to do the duet by myself now. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, people, when I was putting together, hold on, I have to. Yeah, because that would be bad in the middle of a Barbara Streisand song having a tickle or something one day. <laughs> anyway, so you can tell me to like reconsider doing Barbara. You can tell me to rethink it or whatever, but don't tell me. Don't tell me not to live, just sit and put up. Sir, I need a vacant heart, sir. 
because they didn't make it. But whether on the rose of sheer perfection, a freckle on the nose of life's complexion, a cinder of a shiny apple of a rye. I gotta try once, I gotta blow once, only can die once. All right, sir. Ooh, life is juicy, juicy, and you'll see. I'm gonna have my bite, sir.
Stone and Kelly Vaughn. Put your hands together for Kelly Vaughn and Keith Thompson. Get a perfect night and get home safely. Thank you.